Welcome to Mother Daughter, Daughter Projects. Projects. I'm Seth. I'm Vicki. And today, we're in my laundry room. It's a pretty tiny space, so today we're going to add some organization using metal pegboard by a company called Wall Control. And we're excited to be partnering with them on this project, so come join us. On the Wall Control website, you'll find a variety of pegboard options, multiple hooks to choose from, but if you're looking for an already put together kit, you'll find that under the value kits. We're going to use a laundry and closet value kit the Deluxe Laundry Room Organizer Kit to be exact. We ordered the kit through the Wall Control website and it's a very seamless process. It comes packaged very well with all the pegs bagged and wrapped and the panels themselves are in a separate box. There's an easy guide to show you all the parts that are included in the kit. Back in the laundry room, we started by finding the studs in the wall. Here we're using a magnetic stud finder and mark the stud locations with tape. It's ideal to place the panels on studs, but they include wall anchors if that's not possible. We held up the first panel and made sure it started on a stud and marked the hole locations. The screws are included with the kit and the instructions say to use a 1 8 inch drill bit for studs and that's what we're doing here. For the screws that won't be in studs, we're using a 1 4th inch drill bit to make pilot holes for the anchors. We put the anchors in place using a mallet if necessary. We screw the panels into place. We decided to put the two larger panels next to each other in our configuration. That's what's great about the system is it can be customized to your space. Again, we used a 1 4th inch drill bit to drill into the drywall and use drywall anchors to secure the panels into place. It's recommended to attach all the screws loosely at first and then tighten once everything is nice and straight. For the last panel, we repeated the same process. Here mom's getting the screws into place. Now the fun part. We decided on the best location for the included shelves and hooks. And now it's time to try it out. Here you can see the dryer opens perfectly and I have plenty of space to hang clothes and get supplies for the washer. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It took about 20 minutes to get it all in place, and the best part is everything has its own space. And yes, that is a jar of lint. Do you collect your lint? It actually makes a great fire starter for a campfire. What we learned. So a couple weeks ago we used wall control for the first time in my craft closet and we really we were really surprised by how well it worked. I love the feel of it. It's very smooth. It has a great look to it. It comes in a lot of different colors. We've actually only used the white so far, but there's a lot of different colors that it comes with. The pegs come in different colors and a lot of configurations. That's what I like about it is I love organization and so the more I can configure it to my needs and to my specific products and things I have, the better. After we used it in that first project, we thought of so many ways that we can use it other than just in the garage, although we probably put it in there too. But in the laundry room, the kitchen, when you need a little organization, those are great places to um, use those. And one of our favorite things about this product is it's made by a family company, and that's really cool. That's something that's very important to us as we are, We're you family. know, mother daughter. If you're looking for some organization, wall control is definitely something to check out. And if you want to see more projects from us, make sure to check us out on motherdaughterprojects.com. And subscribe right here on YouTube, click the bell, and be alerted to all our new projects. My part was really good. Was my part not good? No, it was good, but my part was really good. Oh, it was exceptional. I was like, I thought my part was good.